Hey, good morning, Saints of God. This is Elder Marcellus Thomas, wishing you a blessed and wonderful Wednesday morning. God is good. He's given us a wonderful day. Hallelujah. Bless God for salvation. I give honor to God the Father and His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God is good. His Word is good. I want to just say a few words of encouragement to my church family, my Facebook family friends, my minister friends. Hey, this is the day that the Lord has made. The Bible said His mercies are new every morning. And God is good. I just want to talk about just receiving from God. You know, the Bible says that, that, that God loves us and that He sent His Son Jesus, not that we be condemned, but that the world through His Son might be saved. Amen. I thank God for the blood of Jesus, for the name of Jesus, all the benefits. The Bible says all the promises of God in Jesus, in Him are yea and amen. Everything you need, God has provided for us because of what His Son, the Lord Jesus, has done. Amen. So the Bible says in order to walk in the blessing of the Lord, we need to have that relationship with God. And that relationship with God starts with Jesus. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to the Father but by me. He said, I'm the door. Jesus said, he is the way. He's the door. Amen. And so we know our relationship starts out with coming to know Jesus. He is the mediator between God and man. The Bible said, the man Christ Jesus. The Bible said, the word became flesh. That's who Jesus was. He was in the beginning with God. And he came because of his love for us to sacrifice his life that I might have life. And I thank God that 2,000 years ago, he died on a cross, he died on a tree, to redeem us from destruction and to save us. Now, since we've been saved, now we walk in the blessings of God. The Bible said every promise and the blessings of God are in Christ, that we are blessed in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So how do I receive that blessing? First of all, I receive him. The word, 1 John 1, 12 says, As many as received him, speaking of Jesus, as many as received him, to them he gave them the power to become the sons of God. Amen. And scripture says, We know God does not hear sinners, but if anyone's a worship of a God and does his will, God hears them. Now what does that mean, man of God? That does not mean that God does not hear the man that's not a sinner, a man that's not saved. God hears everyone. He hears the drug dealer. He hears the thief. He hears the robbers. He hears the gangsters. God hears everything. But what the word was trying to say is that we know that if you are not in a relationship with God through the blood, through the covenant, then God is not obligated. He's not bound literally to do nothing for you. Although the Bible said he reigns on the just and the unjust. We know that those who are of the household of faith walk in the blessings of God. Amen. And that comes because of Jesus. So if you're not a child of God today, it's simple. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 10, that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you call on the Lord Jesus, he'll save you. That's what happened to me over 20-something years ago. Over 30 years ago, really. I was working in a taco store. And the guy came in, I asked him, can I take his order? And he began to preach Jesus Christ to me. Share with me what Jesus has done. And right then in that store, I called on Jesus. And the peace of God, the life of God, and the grace of God came in my life. So salvation is for us today. And the blessing from salvation belongs to you. If you want to answer the prayer to God, start off with getting a relationship with Jesus Christ. Then use that name. Call on God in Jesus' name and ask him, say, God, help me financially. Help me with a job. Help me with provisions. And guess what? The Bible says that if we ask in Jesus' name, he hears us. Jesus said, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he'll give it to you. It's not that hard. Just pray in the authority in the name of Jesus and you will have it. Amen. Be blessed, saints of God. I love you and the Lord does also. Amen.